Um, I met I met Jay through uh, I mean Jay through initially through Rashad, uh, Rashad Smith, uh, Tumblr Nice, and uh, he just he kept hitting me about this kid that he knew who could rhyme crazy, but he just had you know he just needed a break, but he felt like he was destined to be one of the great ones. So finally, uh, you know he he uh, sent me some stuff, he mailed me some music, and you know I was instantly just like wow. One day I just I was on I am and he just I am me out of nowhere and we just started kicking it and at first I'm like you know we we, we would talk and uh, I was just like yo what is with this dude like he was just so trying to think think of the right way to put it he would basically like just ask me the craziest questions like what would be, what would be the best way to to attack this to, to attack that because he's so much of a planner and a tactician I learned that later on. At the time, I didn't realize what he, why he was asking the kind of questions he was, he was asking me. You know, he just wanted to develop this whole plan attack. And my, my thing was always just like, yo, just make music. I think once he got in that mindset and just started recording, you know, it was like every other day he was just sending me back something crazy. So we just started to really develop a real tight relationship, almost, you know, like, 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 a, like a brotherhood, really. So it's kind of like, you know, I consider him like, 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 my, like, you know, he's, you know, it's a cliche saying, like a brother from another mother, you know, just on the, uh, on the, uh, not so much on the physical, but on the spiritual level and on the artistic level, definitely. We just kind of bond up like brothers real quick, you know, and I think that's just because we have a, a common love for the music and we're both really good natured people at heart. We just really want to continue the, the culture and um, expand it instead of just doing the same, you know, same thing over and over again. And I think, the reason I had kind of gotten just not necessarily discouraged, but just bored with hip hop in general is because, uh, you know, people don't like to take risks and don't like to try anything different, you know. And in order to really make any kind of impact these days, not just sales wise, but just on the artistry, you know, you got to be able to go to the left and try different things. And sometimes you'll get killed for it, sometimes you'll succeed.